hello and welcome to my channel so in the next coming weeks you will be seeing our next couple days i'm not exactly sure how i'm gonna put it together but you guys will be seeing you guys will be seeing footage of my time spent with the lucky 13 group at the royal book bash on may the 20th of 2017 i did some interviews with these authors that were at this author signing and I'm excited to show you guys the information and show you their books and what they're all about. I, so stay tuned if you want to know about some of the authors that I got to interview. Hello! So I am here with Connie McCooney. And Connie, what do you do? Uh, I own oh, Lucky 13, which is a full author and reader support service. We do everything from promoting authors, reviewing books, blogging about books, editing, proofreading, and basically anything that an author needs to get their book out to the public. We also support readers by finding out all kinds of great books for you to read and fall in love with, and basically what whatever an author or reader needs. Uh, we've recently branched out into event hosting due to some of the problematic events that have occurred, events that have been canceled or um, basically abandoned and authors have spent money on events and not been able to recoup that money and also get out and see their readers. So we're here today with the inaugural event of the Royal Fair. Uh, as an attempt to rescue an event that was to have occurred in Virginia. And we have 18 authors from all over the Maryland, D.C., and Virginia area here today anxious to meet with readers. And we've had such good uh, publicity and uh, uh, well wishes for this event that we've decided to make it an annual event so we will continue to have royal events in the future. We're already scheduled for June 23rd, 2018 on the beautiful Eastern Shore of Ireland on the Chesapeake Bay. It's a beautiful venue. We're going to have 20 authors there uh, from all over the area eager to show you their books and it's going to be a wonderful time. I will be posting these videos on our Lucky 13 uh, Facebook page and on our website. We also have an awesome reader and author fan group called the Lucky 13 Lounge. Look it up on Facebook. Uh, that's all you need to type in is the Lucky 13 Lounge and join the group. Uh, we have all kinds of fun there. Uh, we feature authors, uh, show readers what kind of great books out are out there. We have author takeovers, giveaways, and just all the time. Yay! You'll find all that information down in the description box as well. Awesome. Well, thank you, Connie, for taking the time out while you're trying to promote this great event. And it's in Frederick, Maryland on May the 20th. Yes, it will. And you guys will see this post and see this video later on this week. And hopefully you will check out that information down in the description box about Lucky 13. So hello, everyone. We're still at Lucky 13, and we have author Deanna Jones. And Deantha, what is your current release going right now? Uh, the most recent release is the, uh, the Jin Order. Um, this is the first three acts in the series. It's actually an adult steampunk fantasy kind of thing. Wow. So, so, yeah, so you can only get it in print at the signing, so it's only, yep, I'm sorry. Hurt my heart. Let's not hurt finish my yet. Heart. You hurt my heart. It's I was not finished yet. What are you doing to me? It's not finished yet, so that's why it's only available at Sonny's when it's when, when it's when it's done, and then I'll put it for sale for everyone to enjoy. When she was signing it, that's awesome. Great. Okay. And how many books do you have published for myself? And then I have one to do a giveaway. I have eight main novels, and then I've got some short stories as well as some novellas that are in a couple of anthologies as well. Awesome. So, what is the genre? Would you say that you mostly write in? Fantasy, definitely fantasy. <laughs> um, but there's all kinds of elements, you know, subgenres in there as well, including romance, paranormal, of course, like I said, steampunk. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. nice. All right. So I decided to do something a little fun with the authors that I'll be interviewing today. This, um, so, say the first thing that pops into your head. <laughs> you're 
thinking. You're thinking. You can't think. It's like the first thing that pops into my head. Lollipops. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do you like lollipops? I do. I like candy, period. I love all candy. Nice. Okay. So on average, how long does it take you, take you to write a book? <laughs> this question. Um, it could take anywhere from a few months to a year. Depending, I mean, it just depends on, you know, what series I'm working on, what, what's the plot, you know. Of course, the novellas take shorter amount of time, but if I'm trying to write a really, you know, really heavy fantasy book, that usually can take, that can take up to a year. So is yeah. it all about the characters? Do the characters have to speak to you, or is it? They definitely do. That's what I do first. Like, I develop all the characters first, and then, and then I kind of develop the plot around the characters. So that takes the most time. So I really put a lot of work into the characters first. And then, yeah. Well, thank you very much for stopping by and, you know, having a little chat with me thank and answering my crazy questions. No problem. I will have all of... Deantha. Deantha. <laughs> See? This is bad. This is bad. I need to work on to work in my to work in the names. But I will have all of Deantha's information and some of her books down in the com in the description box. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me Squirty dirty hair. Hello. <laughs> thank you for joining me. I have a great little panel for you guys and I'll let you check that out. So Take it away. Which authors do I have here today, and why are you sitting in front of me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Sedonia Rose. I'm Abigail Lee Justice. And I'm Mr. Sedonia Rose. Awesome. And, Sedonia, what type of books, or what is your current release right now? Um, I write new adult, and I think I'm funny, so I write pranks in my books. I have lots of pranks and love shots. A couple of other books that also have pranks. And our newest is I Love to Doodle. No oh, adult coloring book! by Mr. Sedonia Rose. You'll have to check it out. Yes! All that information will be in the description box for you guys. Miss Abigail? I write mostly BDSM with romance attached to it, but there's always something that's hidden in all of my books that all of my series, all three of them, all coincide with each other. So Ooh, read one series. You're a secret writer. I am. I you're am. a secret writer. So awesome. I to know everything about all my characters. Well, that's great. So, characters or plot? Meaning? I'm a character writer. That's it. Yes. So don't, do, do I need to explain this to you? Yes. Well, are you a plot writer or are you a character writer? I just sit down and start writing and wherever it goes, that's where it goes. So would you consider that character writing because the characters are talking to you in your head? Because I know all authors are crazy. <laughs> I'm a total pantser. <laughs> I'm a pantser. <laughs> Alrighty, and if you could be any animal in the world, what animal would it be and why? Well, I would be a party animal because I would never be tired. <laughs> Great answer, Miss Abigail. What would you be? I'm going to pick that new giraffe. <laughs> because that's all I did is watch for this giraffe to be bored. <laughs> Stop. And Mr. Snow and Mr. Mm, wow. A dragon. You're going to be a dragon? Yeah, just because. There's okay. no other reason. No. Just a dragon. So a baby dragon then? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what inspires you to write? Her. Oh! <laughs> wow. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Abigail, since you're all hot and spicy and, you know, my. So I live the lifestyle of being within a BDSM club. So I actually, what I write is what I practice every day. So I don't have too much imagination when it goes to that, you know? <laughs> it's real. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, at least we know that your books are going to be authentic and can't necessarily... And too know that it's authentic, <laughs> <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Alrighty, and then the final question is ebook or physical book? Which do you prefer? I love a signed book in my hands to put on my shelf. Do not ever crack the binding of it, so I read all my ebook books. <laughs> I'm totally opposite. I'm an ebook girl. Um, I love regular books, hardbound books, and you know, these nice soft covers, but 
for me to be able to take my iPad anywhere and to be able to read it and then just go to the next book where if I'm out and I've left the next book at home, I can't mm -hmm. do it. So then I'm waiting. So I'm paper. And if I leave, if I need the next book, I'll wait until I get it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, goodness. Oh. He reads technical. Actually, I'm an audio. <laughs> Actually, I'm an audio book, so I'm, not, I'm neither. I'm actually an audio. So. Yeah, he does listen to audio books. Good answer, good answer. Well, thank you all for coming to Tag Team Eight. wants to make an announcement. We have an announcement. Ooh, we got an announcement. We're surprising somebody. Yes. <laughs> so, April 13 and April 14 of 2018, the three of us, plus one more, will be holding our first author signing event. It is an exclusive BDSM club here in Baltimore. So we are bound in Baltimore for 2018. Yep. And it is going to be full of fun, full of excitement, and full of things that you can try. If you have read these books about BDSM and you've wanted to get tied up, <laughs> Or if you wanted to get spanked or flogged, some fire play or maybe some nice wax play, you gotta come to our event. This is where you get to try it. Yep, it's all full of try it. We, we, we've got the spanking bench already. Who's coming oh to my Lord. And plenty oh of paddles for everyone. <laughs> Woo-wee, they gonna have me all crazy up in here. <laughs> what do I do to myself? Woo. Well, thank you all for coming and stopping in with me during the Lucky 13 author royal bash that's going on right now. Thank you for stopping by, and I will have all their information in the description box down below. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hello, and I am here with Phoebe Alexander. Why, hello, Phoebe. Hello. <laughs> and what is your current release? Um, my most recent release is The Catch. And Calvin is super hot, as you can see. Um, it is actually the second book in the Eastern Shore Swingers series, um, but it can be read as a standalone, so don't let that stop you from reading it. Awesome. And how many books have you published? This I week? have six books out as Phoebe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, six. Oh, wow. Yeah. Are they all series books or? Um, I have two series. I have the Mountains Trilogy, which is a military romance. Um, these are all erotic romance, by the way, so if you don't, if you're a prude, probably not going to like my books. <laughs> okay? If you're not open-minded. But you're watching my channel, so, yeah. you know, you like everything on if, a spectrum. If uh, you're not open-minded, just probably just stay away. Probably for the best. But um, So that's a military romance series. Okay. And um, then I have the Eastern Shore Swinger series, and that takes place at the beach in Ocean City, Maryland. And then I have a standalone, um, The Playground. So. Ooh, that's pretty hot, too. Yeah. Did you sit just this <laughs> Oh my goodness. All righty. And obviously, you already said that it's a military sort of genre, but what would you categorize your genre as? Um, I have a tagline that I like to use it's sex positive, body positive erotic romance. So, by sex positive, I mean that my characters embrace their sexuality and celebrate it. There's not any slut shaming or virgin shaming or any of that. And there's lots of um, hot combinations because I tend to focus on ethical non-monogamy. So there's swinging, there's polyamory, and that kind of thing, um, which makes for some very interesting combinations, some very hot scenes. Okay. And for body positive, my uh, heroines especially are quite diverse. I have everything from a size 12 to a size 22, and everything in between pretty much. So Nice. And um, I like to um, write characters that, despite their size, doesn't matter what size they are, they're still really sexy. Awesome. So I'm going to have you take two questions, okay. and one is an author-centric question, and one is sort of a fun question. Okay. All right. If you could be any color crayon, what color crayon would it be? Um, <laughs> I, I guess, told you these were fun yeah. off-the-wall questions. I guess I would be teal, because that's my favorite color. I don't, it's funny because I don't use it as, like in my logo and everything, I do like mm -hmm. red and black, but teal, I, I really like it because that's what color my eyes are. It's like, like green, and blue, and green Yeah, and it's together. like the color of the ocean, which I really like, so I'll probably be too. She's cheating. She got two, qu she got two <laughs> colors. That, that's what that is. <laughs> Teal, it's legit, okay? <laughs> Alrighty, and what other authors are, 
are you friends with and how have they helped you better as a writer? Oh my god, I <laughs> pretty I much am, we're doing a shout out at this point. Yeah, I have so many because I run a group called Indie Author Support. Okay. And we have over a thousand members. Wow. So yeah, so if I had to name all I'll of my I'll make sure that information is in the description yeah, as well. I mean it's guys. it's really it's just a support group for indie authors, but um, it's a Facebook group and I just I admin it and I've met so many incredible people in the last year and a half that we've been up. Um, I'm also an editor, so I've become really good friends with the authors I edit for. Um, one of them is an Australian author named Shandy Boys. Um, I've edited almost all of her books. I still have like three down. I think I haven't done yet. Um, I also edit for an author who um, English is her second language. She is French. Um, Very her interesting. Her name is Alice Rachel, and um, she does YA dystopian stuff. And so we've become very good friends. So it's amazing how those relationships can grow. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a lot of been a lot of fun. Fact, I know. think I have one of. Alice's books. You probably met her at Sass going too. to be reading. Yes, yeah. so I'm super excited about that. Well, thank you, Phoebe, for taking time out before the Lucky 13 signing gets started. And I, like I said, I will have all of this information in the description box so you guys can check her out. And thank you for watching. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Well, I hope you enjoyed those interviews. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a form in the description box so you guys can give me feedback on how to improve my channel. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys later.